Hello everybody, in this episode of Flip Teacher Professional Learning, I'm going to show you how to use time, uh, URL shorteners in the classroom. Now, often you'll want to share a resource, an online resource with your students, but the link to that resource is far too long to write up on the board or to uh, give to your students verbally. It's fine if you're doing it uh, digitally via email or an LMS, but to give it to them in the class can be quite difficult. So this is where URL shortness come into play. Essentially what they do is they take the full link, which might be 40, 50, 60 or more characters long, uh, and it shortens it. Uh, if you Google URL shortener, there will be a huge range of options, as you can see here on the screen, about 2.2 million, it's just, just a couple of options there. Um, and they all do pretty much the same job. Now, my personal favorite is tinyurl.com, which is this one here, this is the home page. Now you can see, they've given you an example on the screen here. This is a link to a Kindle reader on Amazon. It's 220 characters long, far too long, and as you can see from the content of the actual link, too complicated for any anyone to actually remember, and to actually type it in accurately would be quite laborious. So what you can do is you can shorten it. Now that tiny URL can shorten down into about 30 characters, which is much easier to work with. Uh, so let's have a look at how we can actually use this and how the process works. So I've been looking at infogra infographics uh, a little bit recently um, out of curiosity to see how, if I can use them in the classroom. This is a particularly good resource, uh, gives you some options for making infographics in the classroom. But this link is too long to work with. I can't give it verbally to my students and I wouldn't want to try, uh, go writing it up on the board because there are it would be too easy to make a mistake uh, or for the students to Right, type something down incorrectly. So what we're going to do is we're going to shorten the URL. All I need to do is copy it, control C, come across to tiny URL, type it into this box here, paste it, click make tiny URL. The website then does all the work for me, it has a bit of a think, and it spits out this. So that link has a length of 79 characters, and it gives me this short link here. Now the beauty of this is you still, you don't need the HTTP. If you just type in tinyurl.com forward slash and then the shortener, it will take you to the correct website. Now that's still open, there's still potential for incorrect typing. Um, O's and zeros are easy to get mixed up, uh, are probably the big one, and Z's and the number two are also quite easy. So you can be even more specific and you can create a custom tiny URL. So again, I'll paste the URL into the box but just underneath it, I can give it a custom alias. So I'm just gonna call it infographic. So it will spit out tinyurl.com forward slash infographic. Common problem, it does happen. You need to come up with something a little bit unique. Uh, let's go with infograph 12. And there we go. So we've now got tinyurl.com forward slash infograph 12 and that is much easier to work with. You could give that to students at most levels and as long as they're comfortable with typing into a, um, a URL bar, they should be able to type that in, tinyurl.com forward slash infograph 12. Really, really easy to do. It even gives you a link underneath to copy it to a clipboard and if I just come up, open up a new tab, paste it in, and there you go, it's taken me straight to the website. The other great thing is if I type it in manually, tinyurl.com forward slash info graph 12, you can see I've left off the HTTP, it will still take me to the website. That is much easier to work with than trying to remember the full uh, URL. It's much easier to work with for your students, particularly with younger students. Uh, so that's one way of using a uh, URL shortener. The other thing that um, some URL shorteners will have and that TinyURL does, and this is why I like it so much, is it has a link you can put onto your toolbar. So up here you can see there's, amongst all my other bookmarks, there's a bookmark for TinyURL. What this does, if I'm on a page, uh, if I'm on a web page and I want to I want to shorten that URL, all I need to do is click that bar, that button and it does it for me. I don't need to visit the UR, the tiny URL homepage. So let's go back to the infographic page that we've been looking at. Um, 
I like this one, I want to share it with my students, but I want an easier way to give the address to them verbally. All I do is I click on that button. It will have a think about it. There we go, we've got the shortened URL. Much easier to work with and really, really quick. Um, so there's another way of using a URL shortener. Most of the URL shorteners that are out there work similar and have similar functions. Some of them you need to sign up for. Uh, tiny URL you don't, which is another reason why I like it. It's one less password to remember. Um, but have a bit of a play around with the different ones that are available and see what works for you. Thanks very much.